quick disclaimer before I start this video, I don't explain it properly in the video, so I'm going to explain it properly here. If your iDevice is an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and it's on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1, do not update. Stay there, keep it there, wait until Luca releases his updated jailbreak for your device. If you are on a 6S, a 6S Plus, and you are on 10.0, 10.1.1 or 10.2, you can do this. If you are on an iPhone SE on iOS 10.0 to 10.2, you can do this. If you are on an iPad Pro 10.0 to 10.2, you can do this. If your device is not listed in the list I just said, you cannot do this. Do not follow this tutorial or you can severely screw up your device. So with that being said, let's get on to the video. Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dakota here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 10.2. Now, first things first, uh, Luca Tedesco, also known as QWERTY or UIOPZ, has released his 10.2 jailbreak. It also works on 10.1.1, but only for iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Well, not only for, it works on 10.1.1 for iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and iPad Pros, but the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus will only work on 10.1 and 10.1.1, and that has also not been released yet. That will be released, I believe, this coming weekend. It should be today, tomorrow, Sunday, anytime soon. Luca will be updating for iOS 7 and 7 Plus on 10.1.1. So, these are the, those are the devices that you can use this for. If your device was not listed, you cannot do this jailbreak until he adds more device support. So, starting things off, things you are going to need. You are going to need Cydia Impactor. I will leave a link to this down in the description. Go download that, make a folder for it, and yeah, you're done with that part. Next thing you're going to need is the IPA that Luca made, and he has that on his website. I will link that down in the description also, and you're just going to click IPA Cydia Impactor and it will automatically download. So, first things first, go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor, and here we go. Make sure your iDevice is plugged in. Let me go ahead and plug mine in really quick. It is plugged in. As you can see, it just connected. Here's your device. Make sure this is install SU, aka root my Android. Just leave it on default, whatever it is. And then you are going to go find your IPA that you downloaded, it should be in your downloads, or unless you have it somewhere else, wherever you put it. Go ahead and drag your IPA on the Cydia Impactor, and it will ask you for your Apple ID username, which is going to be your Apple ID email, and it's going to ask for your password. This is only sent to Apple, no need to worry about it. If you are worrying about it still, you can go ahead and make a new Apple ID and password and use that for this. And once you are done, you're going to click OK and OK to password and email. And then it will install an app on your phone, which will be used to jailbreak. So once City Impactor gets back to this screen, it will have some text coming up, popping up right about here. And once it gets back to the screen, you are done. You go over to your phone and we can continue the next step on this tutorial. So my iPhone decided to not properly record, but I will go ahead and explain it to you in depth through this little connection we are sharing right here. I will explain it to you in depth so that way you cannot screw it up. So, after you have done Cydia Impactor, you will go back to your iPhone and you will see Yalu 10.2 as an app on your phone. It's going to have this little icon that looks like a mountain with Kim Jong-un's face on the mountain. Pretty simple. Go ahead and click on that. It will bring you to a screen, Yalu by QWERTY or UIOPZ and Marco Grassi. Middle of the screen, it's going to say go, but first a pop-up is going to pop up. It's going to say warning, something along the lines of if you do this, it will slow down your iPhone or it can slow down your iPhone. And it does, but that's only really when you're installing tweaks through Cydia. So go ahead and click OK to that. And now you're going to see the word go in blue lettering right in the middle of your screen. Go ahead and click that. And after you click that, go back to your home screen and see if you have City installed. If you don't have City installed, go back to Yalu 10.2, click on Go again, and keep clicking Go until you see City installed. And that's it. That's all it is. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.